All right, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to today's content, man. I this is my second video for this is my third video for today, but today we finally got the icon species. We have Luis Figo, we have Edwin Vandersar, and we have, we have Javier Zanetti. Now, I would recommend doing these loans because these loans will help you out in future, um, in future, what's it called? In future friendlies, foot friendlies, and all that stuff. So I really recommend you guys do these. And I don't know how what rating they are. They're probably like 82, 83. Oh, oh wow. Okay, I expected those to like be at like 83 rated squads because that's what they used to do. Uh, but these might be worth uh, you know having in your club for future reference. But we have Javier Zanetti, we have Edwin, Edwin Bandersar, and Luis Figo now. One of them is 90, which is the mid um, Luis Figo. We have the baby Vandersar, which is the base icon, 87. And then we have 88 Zanetti. Now, of these three, I don't think these will be any of these cards. I don't think will last you past January. Apart from Vandersar. I think Vandersar, for me, with the links he provides, and he, he's probably a very good goalkeeper as well. I think he's going to be the guy you do want to go for if you guys want to choose someone to go for. But at the same time, it's like, I don't know if it's really worth it. It's an 84 rated squad, an 85, and an 86. So it's not really that expensive with 182 and then two a, a bronze and a silver squad. So I, I don't think this is that bad. I don't think this is that bad. I think this one's, if you can if you can finish it, you have an icon you have an icon goalkeeper, strong to Van Dyke for the future, strong to, I don't know, Nathan Ake, and gets links to everyone. So he might be a decent one to complete. This Javier Zanetti, man. It's a good card. It's a good card. You know, it's five ten high work rates, four star weak foot, very good in game stats, good defending, jumping's always low, physical stats are good, dribbling, passing, all these stats are good. The only problem with this card is he's too slow for a fullback, and as the game progresses and there's pacier attackers, this card's gonna be obsolete. I think this card, if you do get him, you have to play him like in midfield. In, in the CDM spot or something like that because you cannot play this guy at right back. He's going to get burned way too many times. Um, it, it, the pace isn't awful. I'm not saying that, but there's so many better right backs like Semedo, Walker. I know they don't have the dribbling and passing that Zanetti does, but I feel like he's more suited to like a midfield role rather than a right back spot. But regardless, that's it, it's not an expensive SBC either. It's not insane. It's an 84, 85, 86, and another 86. So it's just one more squad than Bandersar. So if you want an outfield player that's an icon, Zanetti could be your cup of tea. Now we go into Luis Figo, whose card stats, his in-game stats, I should say. Not Kadir, his in-game stats right here. So we have medium, medium work rates, which isn't amazing. Four star, four stars is cool. Very good stature at 5'11", good pace, good shooting, uh, passing is good, uh, dribbling is good as well, and then physical stats are good as well. Now, this is a very good all-around card. The only downside I see with this card is that his stature, 5'11", and he kind of has, has like a, not a stocky, but like not thin either, not athletic. He's like a little bit of a thicker build, so he's going to feel a little clunky, especially with the agility and balance, even though it looks good on there. I know in game, Luis Figo doesn't feel silky smooth, so this card... It's good, and I think it can be very good for a lot of people. I just think that someone like Usman Dembele, I'd rather have Usman Dembele than this guy. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying this card is bad. I just think Usman is better, and he's only 20,000 coins. That's just my opinion. An 82, an 86, an 87, an 88, and an 89? No. No. Not for this card. Not for this card. Um, but that is what we did get. So we got three Icon SBCs, and that is that. Did we get any objectives? I haven't checked if we got any new objectives. I don't think we did. No, we didn't. So we didn't get any new objectives. We didn't get any new milestones either. We just got the new Icon SBCs for today, which no one was really expecting. Um, and we don't really have any new promos, so we just have the Icon SBCs to play for. I don't think we have any new upgrade SBCs or anything like that. I think we just got those three today. And we have, wait, we have swaps? Oh, that, that's, that's, yeah, okay. I, 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 yeah, I get it, I get it. Um, but that is going to be it for today. I just wanted to come on here, talk about it, talk about it, give you guys my opinions. How I said, if you had to pick one of those three, Vandersar's probably the one to go for that's going to be in your team the longest because uh, I feel like he's always super OP. So Ned is not a bad one. It's an okay one. And then Luis Figo, my opinion, is a little ridiculous, uh, a little too expensive for my liking but that is going to be it for today's video i hope you guys did enjoy drop a like comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already let me know if you guys are going to be completing any of these spcs i'll see you guys next video have a fantastic day and i'm out